Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 30th of November 2024. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying life as best you can. If you're in the US, if you're recovering from your Thanksgiving uh, holiday, maybe you've come into the weekend and are still relaxing, enjoying yourself, I hope so. Um, sometimes people's stupidity and I incredible lack of any kind of logic or thought process makes me want to smash my face into a plank of wood. <laughs> it's just astounding. Uh, I say this because I've just been reading a piece in ProPublica about immigrants or rather children of immigrants who voted for Trump. Um, <laughs> and this is the re you know, some of the reasons given why. This is in ProPublica, by the way. You should go and check it out, ProPublica.org. Uh, uh, definitely a place uh, for checking out lots of useful information about the US. Um, a woman being interviewed said that um, she was very much anti-Biden, against Biden, because uh, she was an undocumented immigrant who'd been in the US for many years, right? And not available. She couldn't get a driving license or anything like that. Uh, but because uh, some people coming in from, I think from Nicaragua, were, you know, asylum seekers, so obviously right, fleeing uh, you know, a country uh, in turmoil, like those people running away from Haiti as well, uh, you know, could get some temporary permits uh, for for different things. And she resented this fact. And so for this reason, <laughs> she was very proud when her sons voted for Trump. It's like, what? What? What on earth are you talking about? Where is your logic? Where is just any sense whatsoever in kind of logic? You vote for the person who's likely to throw you out of the country. Not, not the person who's kind of like looking upon you as a benign uh, existence, but somebody who's likely to actively throw you out of the country. What is going on in people's heads? What was wrong with her sons? Uh, who may not be thrown out of the country, but you never know because... Nowadays, uh, they're even talking about re removing birthright citizenship. So even they might have even eventually be kicked out of the country. If they were born in the U.S., but their parents were there illegally, they might lose that right as well. So, you know, it's, it's astonishing the lack of any kind of thought process whatsoever that these people have. It, it, it's, it, it just, it's incredulous. It makes me incredulous. It really does. All right. <laughs> Enough. Let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? This is the Los Angeles Times expert level puzzle. Speaking of the Los Angeles Times, fortunately I don't have to read any of their editorials, but apparently they're, they're going to promote, uh, after their decision to not endorse Kamala Harris, they have now decided that the editorial board needs a conservative Trump supporter, and they're going to add one to the to the thing. I have to wonder, I have wonder if I should be continuing to... Um, play games from the LA Times or not. We'll, we'll see. We've got ones blocking up here and one down here. That's going to be a digit one, isn't it? We've got one across here, or one across here, and one down here. There's a digit one. One up here, one across there. There's a one. One across here, one across here. Up here, the problem with playing newspaper games is, <laughs> and I, pr I don't play any games from Mur from the Murdoch Press, but unfortunately, most of the press is owned by the right wing anyway. <laughs> so the, the sets, the, the the small set of available games is getting smaller and smaller all the time as well. <laughs> Never mind, we'll find something to play. Two blocking down here, and two across there. There's a two. Okay, haven't seen anything else, so let's go one by one, see it focusing on each digit, trying to get some more info that way. So here's something to remember. We've got ones in that little block of four there. That might help. 
help my memory, jog my memory. think I've got a pair here of something yes two and five block up here and two and five block across here so that's a pair of two and five in those squares does it mean anything ah uh, well uh, actually uh, I, I didn't need that to uh, that's just made me see something else four blocks across here so four is in one of those squares so I can get myself a four there uh, what did I say? Two and five. I spotted that because that made me see the fours in those two squares there. Uh, threes are somewhere in this column. Three, four. Ah, okay. So, so in that case, okay, we've got four blocking across here. So we can we can say that fours have to be in these two squares here, right? Seven and three obviously can't be in this square so seven and three must be somewhere up there so we've got four seven and three in those squares four three four seven three four seven three four seven and this is two and five three four seven so this has got to be uh, three four seven so this is two five so this is eight and nine in those squares there right what does it mean for the eights it means eights are there eights are here eights are there uh, okay so we've got eight blocking across here so eight in one of those squares so this would be an eight down here uh, anything else up there let's try that again eights. okay we've also got nines in those squares And so we've got to get a nine here, haven't we? So nine across here, and nine across there, there goes a nine. Missing digits down here are five and eight. We no, they're not five and seven. Sorry about that. Five and seven here. This is going to be three and six. So the three blocking down gives us three there, six there. three and six block across here that puts three and six into those squares and gives me five here uh, the missing digits here are uh, four and eight and so this is going to be five five blocking up here five up there five across there there's a five and didn't I work out this was two and five I did didn't I yep two up there two across there there's two All right, let's. I uh, don't have any completed digits yet, so let's start going through the clock. Oh, I said, still got that f section of four there. Let's go around the start going around the clock. I'm trying to say. Three blocking up here and up there. There's a three.
6 across here puts 6 into one of these two squares. 6 blocking down, 6 blocking up, 6 blocking across there. And there's a 6. Six blocking this square, this square, and this square. So in this column, there's a six. And six this way and this way will give us six in that square. Uh, we've got a pair of 5 and 8 here, I believe. We've got 8 blocking up here, so 8 across here and across here. And we've got 5 there and 5 there. And then we've got 5 and 8 blocking up there. So we've got a pair of 5 and 8 in these two squares. Now what? Now we've got 9 going up here, 9 going up there, and we get ourselves a 9 in that square. 9 blocking across here and 9 up here will give me 9 there. Two blocks across here, there's the 2, this would be a 7. A 7 down here puts 7 into this square, this is a 5. 5 up here, 5 down there puts 5 into that square, 7 down here puts 7 in, uh, seven. Excuse me, into that square there. And we'll be left here with 2, 4, 8 I think, we've got 4, 8 like that, that's right. Okay. Right, now back over here, what was I saying? This was uh, five and something, five and eight, wasn't it? Five and eight, yes. We've got five and eight in those squares, so these cannot be five or eight, they have to be three, four, and seven. Uh, so we get a pair of fours up there. So in other words, okay, so these squares are blocked, right? We've got four blocking this square, so that's got to be our four then, isn't it? Four across here, four across there. There is our 4, the last number 2 place here is 3, and 3 blocking across will give us 3 in that square. Now we can get this because we had it ages ago, but I've now forgotten what it was. Uh, something down here is 3, 7 wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. Missing numbers here are 5, 7, 8, and we've got 5 and 8 together, so that's our 7 then. Missing numbers down here are 1 and 3, I believe. 3 blocking across there. There's a 3, there's a 1. We still don't have any completed digits. I can't believe it. We've got almost... We're very far into the game and almost, I think, almost home, but we don't have any completed digits yet. So let's try uh, what do we know now? We've got one across here, one across there. This, I think, could be the first finisher. Yes, it is. First to get home is digit one. What's happening with digit two? Um, not sure. What's going on with digit three? Three blocks down there gives us a three in that square. Three across here, across there, and up there says bye bye to digit three four what do we know uh, not quite sure five oops um, nope 
six. We've got a pair of five and six here. We've got five and six here, five and six there. We'll take them across. And that'll give us a pair of five and six in these squares. So this is going to be two, seven, and eight. Any help on that? Uh, uh, yes, two and seven block here. So this can't be two, seven. It's got to be an eight. Eight across here, eight across there. There's our eight. I've lost my thread. Let's go with nine. <laughs> what do we know about nines? Anything? Uh, not sure. All right, eights. All right, eight blocking up here. There's our eight, and this is going to be a five. Five down here, across there, and across there. Gives us five in that square. The missing digit in this column. Six. And somewhere else, I just oh, there we are. I need a six down there. Okay, we'd certainly have four completed digits now one, three, five, and six. Uh, let's see, can we get the twos? We have two blocking this square, so in this row, there's our two, and the last number to place here is. is 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 four four blocking down gives us four here the last number there is eight i think eight blocking to the top puts eight into that square the missing digit here is nine nine down here nine across there there's a nine and one more number to go there that's a four i think Okay, all we need now is two and seven. We've got seven here, so that's going to be a two, then that's got to be a seven, and that's got to be a two, and that's got to be a seven, and we are done. Uh, another puzzle that's not too tricky for the weekend. Thank you very much. Join me for another game of Sudoku somewhere, or go back in time and look at some of the old games and see how life has progressed from the time of COVID, I think. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.